Hello again, everybody. We're finally back to kick some tail. No, I'm not doing the DK stuff right here. Alright, I'm gonna have the whole party guard. Izanami's my in charge. We're gonna get madly boned. I think Izanami's actually about to use her best move. Yep. Yep, world's end. That's her best move. And with a mind charge, that would have destroyed the party. Actually, come to think of it, we were buffed and she was debuffed, so maybe it wouldn't have matter mattered, but it still is a good idea to block. Um, okay, let's see. Gotta get a Rakonda going. Yep, time to lower that defense. Really need to do some good damage to her. We're almost done here, folks. I mean, this is coming to the end. So this is going to be real good. I'm kind of looking forward to getting this project done. I, w I don't really mind um, starting up Metal Arms again. In fact, I really want to start up Metal Arms again. And I know a lot of people, uh, that was actually my most known project, which would be Metal Arms, but, you know, somewhere I just fell down. I'm not supposed to just heal the whole party. What's the matter? But anyway, I mean, Metal Arms has the most views out of all my projects. Persona 4 Weird Boss Battles actually probably has the fewest. So, hey, you know, whatever. But I must admit, not everybody's into Persona, or not everyone is willing to give it a chance because it's a JRPG. I still think it's really fun, though. So I think it's worth a play. Hell, I think it's worth more than a play. I think it's worth a buy, and to play through it five times, which is essentially what I did. I play, I beat the game four times, and watched a whole playthrough once. So, there you go. It shows how much of a freaky fanboy I am. Yeah, well, it happens. Okay. We're so close to the end here. Kind of... Ah, I just want her to die. Damn it. Such a pain. Such a pain, pain, pain. <sighs> okay. Nope, still not dead. Actually, I think it's going to be a couple more hits before we get a KO on Izanami. The party is, uh, she is debuffed, but I don't want to take any chances. I'm going to have Teddy do a party wide heal. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Very good. Don't know what, okay. Well, that wasn't that bad. And here we go. We're going to get a mind charge. Means I really need to block. Oh, yeah. I've got a block. So I'm probably next turn I'll have finished off Izanami. I hope. We'll see. We'll see how that one goes. I had to get back to you on it. Oh. Damn. <laughs> wow, that actually took a lot out of me. Yosuke probably would have been uh, finished. Well, not finished, but he probably would have had one health if I didn't, um, if I didn't do that. So, just good planning. Good thinking on my part. Uh, alright, I'm just gonna have the top three people just attack. I want her dead. We almost done here. Come on. We gotta get her. Come on, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. She dead, she dead, she dead? Damn it. Come on, Yosuke. Finish the bee off. Finish her off. Done? I think so. I don't want to risk it. I have to heal the freaking party. It doesn't even appear that there's any health in her health bar, but maybe there's just a little sliver that I didn't notice. Then again, I have heard of a glitch where Izanami's health bar is weird, but it's not real. Oh, no, never mind. Okay. So, this is the point of the boss fight. Wait a minute. What's going on? Kanji, no! What the hell? Oh, no way. I have to fight her with three people now? Again? What? Damn it! Now I have to fight her with two people. I have no idea what's going on. I've never seen this before. <laughs> no, I know exactly what's going on. Oh, God. I had you guys going. No, this isn't the point in the fight where you have beaten Izanami. All this stuff that's going on now is just, um... Just... What's the word? Um... Theatrical. Yeah, everything from here on in is theatrical. I've already beaten Izanami. Essentially. I've done the actual fighting. It's unfortunate that our battle must end this way. And here... 
He, she gets the main character. Yes, we have been defeated. That's it, we lose, that's how the game ends, we all die. No! That wouldn't be a true JRPG if everyone died at the end. JRPGs have happy endings. But what's gonna happen then? Oh no, our main character is laying face down in the ocean? I don't know what the hell he's in. Your consciousness is fading. Is this where you will fall before a powerful enemy? Question mark? Hey, someone's voice. Okay, so this is actually the part in the game where uh, every social link, I never really explained social links, but they're basically just something in the game that you can increase your persona's strength with. Um, and this is where, this part of the game is where all the characters that you've completed social links with appear to you and talk to you to get up and fight again. And that's basically what's just happening right now. It's pure, purely cinematic. It's, although I think it actually adds to the epicness significantly. Um, and I really just, whenever I play this game, I always stress to make the main character social links completed. You can actually do social links with characters that you don't get in your party. So you're going to see a few characters that you've never seen before, but... Whatever. But you should recognize most of them. Hey, there's good old Kanji. Yo, Senpai! Yo, he's a badass. Too bad he said Senpai. It doesn't really make it any more badass. Ugh, whatever. Such a shame. Here's Naoto. We never really got to know Naoto that much, except in her boss battle video. I never used her, so... She's actually very good to have in the party, though. If you choose to have her, you're not going to choose badly. And keep in mind, this was my second playthrough, so I didn't really get to finish as many of the social links as I would have liked to. But, in my, uh, um, in my expert playthrough, I finished all the main characters, uh and three extra characters, so. That's actually more than half of the social links, which is pretty good. Okay. Oh, and here's good old Teddy. Sensei. That's right, we are in Japan. Where sp senseis are just... Sensei-ish? I don't know. I really hope I finish this in this video. I'll try to make it so that's what happens. Alright, so the main character is getting up for another round. That's right, we're gonna beat Izanami once and for all. Right now, baby. Hey, what's this? Hey, this is the persona we used to fight Yosuke with. Hey, cool. Now he's a white, close persona. With a longer name, so I guess that means he's tougher. Any anime character with white clothing and a longer name is automatically just tough. A white clothed character, not white character. <laughs> oh god, that sounds so bad. No, white characters with white clothing. That's what I mean. So, here's where the fight gets really epic. Thousand Curses. Yes, you just get a miss symbol. You don't actually get anything really epic, like the main character fighting his way out of the arms. That'd be pretty sick. Can the will of so few surpass the will of all mankind? So then, since Izanami realized that doesn't work, she uses this. Hey, 999 damage, but we hey, we're alive. Ah, oh, crap, we're dead now. Nope, we're alive. Yes, we have one health to fight against, like, 800 of these attacks. Alright. Yep. I get it. It's pretty epic. Oh yeah, I understand. So epic. Why don't you understand? Yeah, you guys can read that if you want to. I'm not going to say it. Okay, we only have one option of a move left. As you can see, everything else is nulled except skill. And there's no other skills except myriad truths. And there's only one target, so here we go. Main character. Ooh, man, that's just badass. Oh my god. Just so badass. Here it is, baby. We can see what our new persona can do. 
and Kamehameha! Yeah, that was probably unnecessary. <laughs> Whatever. I'm sure you all enjoyed it. I'm sure you all enjoyed the Kamehameha wave. Wow, this took like a half hour to record. I mean, 40 minutes to record, really. Damn it. I was really hoping it wouldn't take that long, but... Whatever, Izanami's always a long toil. The whole thing took 40 minutes, although it probably couldn't have, it shouldn't have. There were just some pretty dumb events that happened, but... I think all in all, the boss fight went okay. The hell with that shit! Yeah, that's right, Kanji. Just tell her. Just, you know, you tell her. And try and live your way. Yes, yeah, so lots of fog being gone. Alright. I'm running out of time in the video, so I'm not going to really listen to what she has to say. Children of man, well done. Well, except that. I just love that line. And now you hear Izanami dying. Yeah, well, if you were playing the game, you just hear a squeak for a second of her dying, and then she just disappears into the abyss. Alright, guys, that's pretty much everything. Um, I've had a lot of fun with this project, uh, even though it has been the most unpopular of all my projects, but even so, I still had fun doing it. That's really the most important thing. And, um, yeah, I'm going to call it an end in just a couple minutes. Just want to see all these characters just saying, oh, yay, it's so happy, we win. Yay, Oh, What a hallmark moment. Friends that you can believe in. And on that note, actually, okay, and on that note, goodbye, folks. We're starting Metal Arms up tomorrow. Bye.